You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. As LSU starts fall camp, though, today, they will be doing so, obviously, without Miles Brennan, who will be starting rehab today on the broken arm uh, that he had surgery on on Tuesday, and now is going through the process of trying to get back, hopefully, at some point this season. Um, to this point, there have been a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation about how Miles Brennan was injured and what his future may hold, and LSU did not disclose any of that, only that they hope to get Miles back as soon as they can, and that it was a severe left arm injury. Well, Miles' father, Owen Brennan, was a guest on WWL and gave uh, added some color to a lot of these these um, uh, these questions that people have had. First of all, he did explain how Miles broke his arm. You know, the entire team had a week off before they uh, report to fall camp, and as a lot of people know, Miles is a huge um, fisherman, and he was going fishing, uh, you know, one last opportunity before heading into camp and um, loading up to go out and had all the gear in his hands and everything. And literally, uh, his flip-flops caught a loose board on the dock. He tripped. He wasn't able to catch himself with his hands full. Uh, he fell on his left arm and uh, broke his uh, humerus bone. And just kind of show you how tough he was. He thought it was a bruise. He said, you know, I'm not about to go home. I'm going fishing. And he fought through it. And um, the next morning, he woke up. And he just he realized it was a little bit more than a bruise and called us. And we, we met him. And um, he has a, uh, drove himself to Baton Rouge uh, from Grand Isle and ended up having a uh, compound fracture of the humerus bone. So um, he's a lot tougher than I am. So a compound fracture of the humerus bone. He tripped while holding fishing gear. A freak thing that happened, and a lot of people have criticized Miles Brennan, saying that he shouldn't have been doing these things right in advance of fall camp. Well, Owen Bre Brennan certainly stood up for his son. Well, let me tell you something. I mean, Miles has been fishing since he was two years old. I mean, that's just that's his hobby. That's what he loves to do. That's just you know his passion. He plays football for LSU. He's an avid fisherman. He's an avid hunter in that order, and he's got his priorities straight. But when you have when you have time off, that's what they give you time off for to go do the things that you enjoy, to reload and totally you know clear your clear your mind. And so then when you report back for six months of arduous football, you, you're ready to go. And I mean that's basically what happened. And I'm sure there's a lot of young men out there that were doing the things that they love to do. Um, in that week that they were off, um, just to kind of clear their minds and, and get ready to go. Uh, some people have suggested that Miles Brennan might have been drinking whenever the accident happened. I have been flatly told that is not the case at all. It was just that. It was an accident, as Owen Brennan has described. Now, earlier this week, uh, we had um, Dr. Stephen Etheridge of the Baton Rouge Orthopedic Clinic, who is the head team physician for LSU on the show. We talked about the humorous break and sort of a timeline for recovery for a normal person as co uh, compared to an athlete. So you'd be looking at six to eight weeks normally. Um, and that would be if everything went perfectly. So that would put Miles Brennan back at some point at the beginning of October if everything went perfectly. Here was Owen Brennan on a timeline. They're going to actually get him into physical therapy on Friday. They're going to start moving uh, the left arm and getting him into some physical therapy exercises. And, uh, you know, the staff at LSU, uh, they're tremendous. They're incredible, incredible people over there that work in the medical staff. And they said they're going to have Miles throwing the football Thank goodness, like I said, it's his left arm, not his right arm. And they're going to have him throwing the football in two weeks and then just take it on a day-to-day -day basis from there. Um, obviously, you know, you're playing <laughs> football in the SEC. He's going to have to absolutely be ready to take that kind of contact and collision. But you take it one day at a time, and I assure you he'll be out there every day uh, working towards that end. Now, there's one other thing that's interesting. Um, and this is really where I want to go with this as far as you know, commentary, which is – what the future holds for Miles Brennan, because, of course, he waited his three years to be the starting quarterback at LSU. He was that last year for three games. Then he suffered the injury against Missouri, as we all know. Uh, he was going to be in a battle with Max Johnson for the starting job this year. There's a lot of, of um, conflicting opinions on who was going to win that job. I mean, I've told you before, it was my contention that Miles was going to take the first snap against UCLA. Hunt Palmer sat next to me yesterday and said, same thing based on what he had heard around LSU, was that Miles was going to win the job. Now, could he have kept the job? That was going to depend on how he played and a lot of different things. But ultimately, he was in it, and now it's Max Johnson's job. The big question remains, by the time Miles Brennan returns, 
has Max Johnson put a stranglehold on that position? And if so, where does that leave Miles Brennan? Well, Owen Brennan, his father, left no ambiguity as far as his son's future. None whatsoever. Matter of fact, the very first thing uh, when he talked to Coach Ogeron, um, he said, Coach, um, how much eligibility do you have? You know, if, 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 the, if it's the worst-case scenario, I don't even think he went to the hospital yet, and he had this conversation, and he just said, you know, uh, what about, what about a, um, a, a red shirt? What about, you know, can I maintain my eligibility? I mean, I mean he was already thinking that. So, look, man, he, you, know, you know what he's been through as much as anybody, and um, he is an LSU Tiger through and through. Um, he's not going anywhere. He was getting ready to compete for this job starting on Friday, and I assure you, whatever other Friday he shows up, he's going to be competing for the job. And he wants to um, finish his career at LSU as the starting quarterback. Whatever avenue that is, whatever whatever path that takes, um, that's his goal. Again, Owen Brennan on WWL, there's no ambiguity there at all. And that leads or leaves open the possibility of a truly, like literally unprecedented situation. Y'all, Miles Brennan could be the first ever seventh-year player at LSU. Follow me, okay? He is this year in his fifth season. But remember, everybody got a free year due to COVID. So, really, although he should technically be classified as a, as a fifth-year senior, he's actually classified as a junior, because last year counted against nobody. So no matter what, if Brennan comes back this year or doesn't, he can play again for a sixth season in 2022. Remember, he redshirted, if you follow it. 2017, he played and competed with Danny Etling. 2018, he redshirted as Burroughs' backup, so he burned his redshirt year. 2019, he was a redshirt sophomore, third-year sophomore in 2019. Last year didn't count for anybody. Then this year is technically his junior season. Next year would be his sixth year if he chose to come back. And if Miles Brennan does not play this year, LSU could theoretically file with the NCAA for a medical redshirt. It is rare, but we have seen guys get a sixth year in the past. Do you remember Kirsten Pittman? Incidentally, he was a defensive end on both the 03 and 07 national championship teams. Well, Pittman filed for and got a sixth year in 2008. We've seen it at times before. This would basically be that situation with the extra year because of COVID. So if Miles Brennan wanted to play seven years, that is a possibility at this point. And judging by what Owen Brennan said there, it's certainly, I wouldn't rule that out of the realm of possibility. Now, what happens with Max Johnson? Does he establish himself as a starter? All of that remains to be seen. The other possibility for Brennan would be after this year to just cut your losses and go pro. And you might think, well, why would a guy go pro if he hasn't played but three games at college? The most obvious example is Matt Castle. If you remember Matt Castle, he played at Southern Cal. He backed up Carson Palmer and then Matt Leinart. He never started a game in his career at Southern Cal. As a matter of fact, his career statistics at SC, he was 20 of 33 for 192 yards, no touchdowns and a pick. That was Matt Castle's career statistics as a backup at SC. And he went into the draft, and the Patriots took him in round seven. And actually, he beat out Rohan Davey uh, for a roster spot. And, And Chris Redman, incidentally. Became the backup to Tom Brady, and when Brady in 2008 tore his ACL, Matt Castle started that season, won 10 games as the starter. The Patriots went 11-5 that season. I'm not mistaken, and missed the postseason at 11-5. But he started, and then the Patriots traded him to Kansas City, where he became the starting quarterback. And Matt Castle ended up playing 14 NFL seasons and made 81 career starts. He was primarily backup but 14 seasons and made 81 career starts. There is a path forward into pro ball for Miles Brennan after this season if he wants it. It certainly has not been an often traveled path, but it's there. And there's also, behind door number two, the opportunity to come back for a sixth and possibly even a seventh year in Baton Rouge. The curious case of Miles Brennan continues as LSU, though, hits the practice field on this Friday. 
Miles Brennan hits the training room as he begins rehabbing the surgery he had on Tuesday. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.